everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-September readings for all the zodiac signs. Keep in mind that they are general readings. So take what applies and leave the rest. Thank you for everybody who out there who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock. You put me over 10,000 subscribers, and it is absolutely awesome. Thank you. If anyone is interested in a private reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. This reading is going to be for Virgo. Sorry, they're a little late, but things have been crazy around here. But let's see what's going on. Virgo. Virgo, you in between a rock and a hard place? Let's see. At the bottom of the deck. <laughs> no figure. You get the hang man. Now, Virgo, this is self-imposed. You put yourself here. This is about feeling stuck, feeling in limbo. Nothing moves forward, nothing goes backwards. It's just there. But Virgo, it's also seeing something in a different perspective. You gotta admit, everything looks different when you're upside down, right? Let's see how it applies to the reading. Virgs, we're gonna start off with the Five of Swords. Now, this is what I call the hollow victory. You win a battle, but you don't win a war. I also like to refer to it as being instigated to engage. Somebody eggs you on, and they egg you on, until it gets too ridiculous, you pick up a sword, you start flailing it around, and you don't care if it hurts somebody because it's the truth. Yeah, that's right. I don't like your sister. I'm not sorry I said it. So, and that is going to be crossed by the help or hinder, you get the page of wands. Now, wands are of the fire suit, Aries, Leo, Sag, or someone takes the properties. It's the messenger. It could be a message of a creative endeavor. It could be a message of a course of action. And I'm going to go with action because if somebody is taking the action to call you on, Virgo, what were they thinking? Now, in your foundation, we get the holy wand of the gods. This is the ace of wands. All aces are the universe's way of giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. Wands being a course of action. It's also being crossed by a course of action, so Virgo. It seems to me that to get you unstuck from whatever situation you're in, you gotta move on something. I think that's the way, the only way it's gonna get you off this wheel. Hmm. Now, what's crowning your whole reading here, Virgs? You get the King of Cups. Now, here's your water suit of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who is well in control of their emotions. They wear their heart on their sleeve, but you wouldn't know that. They're very intuitive. They can speak fluently in matters of the heart. Sentimental guy or girl can go either way here. Virgo, is this the person that you feel stuck to, stuck with? stuck in a combat or an argument or something that this you're not seeing eye to eye. Hmm. Virgo, why do I feel like you are on the verge 
of snapping. Huh. Virgo, are you arguing with somebody who is very, very sensitive? Maybe. Now, in your recent past, Virgo, how many messengers are you going to have to take a course of action? Because here it is again, in the recent past. You have a message to take a course of action. Virgo, why are you staying stuck? Are you afraid of having a blowout with somebody so you're just retreating from it? Are you afraid to take a course of action with this person? Maybe they hurt their feelings? Because they are sensitive. Huh. Bergs. One way or another, how this goes, you need to take a course of action. Staying in the same place is not a course of action. You gotta get off this wheel. You gotta get unstuck. Now, Virgo, going into your future, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Now, here is your sign, Virgs, as well as Capricorn and Taurus. They are the slowest out of all the elements, but they're methodical. They're practical. They'll bring something that is of the see, hear, taste, touch, prove things. It's something real and concrete. They have turned every stone, and dotted every I and crossed every T. When they bring this to you, it's absolutely concrete. You believe it, Virgo. Now maybe this is you, you know, bringing something, you know, to somebody taking that course of action, letting them know that you are steady, now, Virgo, how people see you in your environment. Spray card. You have justice. Now, if you have something in the legal system going, it's going to go your way. But this is something being rectified, something being justified, something being made fair. Equal. Now, people are seeing you like this, Virgo, that you are the fair, even, scaled, Tilted person. Maybe you're not taking a side. Maybe you're not passing judgment. Maybe somebody is waiting for you to take a course of action. Leo, that's fair. Something needs to be done here. Virgo, something needs to be done. Now, in your environment, another ace. This is the ace of swords. Again, the universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. Virgo, this is truth, clarity, an aha moment, an epiphany. Cutting through the BS, getting to the truth. Somebody already expects you to be truthful, because that's the kind of person you are. And if Virgo, if you're not saying your piece, then you gotta. And whether this is engages in a fight, argument, confrontation, Virgo, you get the biggest sword of all. You get the truth. And the truth. Shall set you free. It's the fair thing to do. Virgo, maybe you need to cut somebody loose. And they're very sensitive. But Virgo, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
if you're hanging on to a situation, a relationship, a career ship, love ship, friendship, any ship, if you're holding on, okay, to suffice somebody else, then you're doing yourself an injustice. Virgo, the longer you let this go on, the harder it's going to get down the road. No matter what this is. Virgo, you need to be fair. And I'm thinking it's fair to this person. You can be fair to yourself. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, Virgo, get the page of swords. Now, here is the spy card. He comes in, not delivering a message, not delivering anything. Just watching. Watching what you're doing. Now, that card can go both ways in your hopes and your fears. Virgo, are you feared that somebody's spying on you? Maybe you haven't given somebody an answer. And as much as you try to avoid a conflict, that it just gets them kind of crazy. So they watch everything that you do. Or, Virgo, you have been watching somebody. Maybe you can't get the truth from somebody else. Because this can go both ways. That's all you're looking for is the truth. And if this person is, you know, combative or, you know, confrontational when you try to get the truth from them and just lands up in an argument, it's a new course of action to take. The outcome card, Virgo, is a two of wands. Now, again, feeling stuck because you gotta choose a course of action. A life-changing one. And where you have so much fire in this reading and stuff, I mean, it is desperately calling for you. Huh. You gotta pick a road. Left, right, up, down. And I can, I can see how you don't know what to do. Because you want to be fair. Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Virgo, don't forget to be fair to yourself. This is the only way to go. Don't keep somebody hanging on, Virgo. If you've got something to say, whether you don't feel this way about this person anymore, if there is another road that you feel that you should be on, or this other person, Don't walk on eggshells. Don't avoid them. Take this one head on. Because you need to make a course of action. And telling the truth, Virgo, is being fair to both parties. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I will see everybody back here real soon. Take care.